Alright guys, welcome to my uh, version of uh, Zorin 0664 Respin. I'm uh, just going to show you guys uh, what I've done here and this is definitely for download so I've done a lot of extra things, heaps of themes. Um, we'll just go through it really quickly and see what you guys think. Uh, the icons very nice clean looking icons. I've changed uh, Zorn around. I put the taskbar up at the top. I put my own uh, uh, Creo um, with customized uh, icons and everything. So completely modified more than what the, the, the boring Zorn version would be. This is for somebody that wants some a nice eye candy OS. So let's go through it really quick and I'll tell you what exactly I have on and what modifications and what you guys could do different to this OS um, accessories we got a couple things, sunflower uh, the terminal uh, disutilities games, I'm not much into games so just left the same games that came with Zorin um, graphics uh, just put cover screen, this is uh, an application to uh, shrink files, uh, pictures, etc. Um, for the internet, I put Clip Grab, uh, Firefox web browser, the newest one, Oprah. I I'm a big Oprah user in Chrome, obviously. Uh, Q uh, BitTorrent uh, for my thing, Skype, the newest Skype available, uh, obviously, Thunderbird. Um, for Office, you have your normal stuff, your LibreOffice with GW Office, which is uh, uh, the, Go the Google Drive, so that works fantastic. Um, just a couple things here, and some of the things on System Tools. I put uh, Ubuntu, and here's a couple. Of, you got Wine, obviously, your Software Center, etc. I'm um, just going to go through a couple things. This is one of the, th the applications that I like most. Wallet. This is where you can change your wallpapers to whatever you want. You can change the time, your settings right here. Very nice. I use this more than the default one that it comes with uh, Zorin. Uh, you can, we'll have a look and we'll see what we can do here. Say so I want to change my wallpaper. Very simple. You can load up all your wallpapers. You add your folders, etc. Works fantastic. This is a very nice wallpaper. Um, you got to remember also. Um, I preloaded a lot of uh, beautiful, beautiful uh, wallpapers on there. So I think you guys have over a hundred wallpapers. All a lot of high definition ones. Uh, so everything's very, very nice. So. Uh, there's that. Uh, let's have uh, Deppin, his mother uh, software center. You have the original uh, Ubuntu software center, which is fantastic, but this one's more of an eye candy one, the Deppin software center, where you could download, do your upgrades through this. Um, very nice, very easy, simple to use. Um, everything works right out of the, uh, the box, uploads files. Uh, programs onto your computer so that works fantastic uh, what else do we have here Ubuntu tweak I'll show you a couple things on this really quickly alright here is my Zorn 06 uh, 64 bit uh, you got your tweaks we go to themes right here let's have a look what we can do here let's just open another file so I can show you exactly what we can do see we could change the window themes I did put the Microsoft window theme, the Mac look. If you want to change it, uh, you can change your your icons as well. You see that? That's changed. For this, you would have to restart your log off and log on in order to change them back. I have loaded a lot of icon themes, as you can see. Uh, lot more than most other uh, OS's give you so you can change and play around whatever suits you guys best uh, this one's a pretty nice one that I've used looks very nice highlights everything um, of this is right here it won't change unless this you would have to go into Keo dock and uh, configure 
over here and change your themes um, right here you can choose your theme for your icons on this this is customized to the themes that I wanted on it so we could do that alright let's just set it back to what exactly what I had it at trying to figure out what I had here we go, grey, this is what I had very clean nice clean looking um, clean look to it very nice smooth feel to it just love it how you could tweak everything on it your themes your icons everything on this is completely customizable I l left a lot of options on there it's all preset for you guys you guys don't have to upload anything everything's preset there um, the janitor you guys need to use a janitor if you're using uh, Zorn or especially this version get it cleaned out every couple days probably every third day I would do it works fantastic um, let's just see what else we have around here this is a change the themes around so that's why it all looks a little different um, let's have a look at what we have here We've got the Oprah like I said um, very very good browser very nice get rid of that uh, that's uh, the software center very good software center you have this is Zorin, obviously the ordinary looking Zorin. Um, I just completely modified it from what it looked like. Very stable uh, OS, so it's just my version of how I like to change Zorin around. Um, if you like it, you can change it back to exactly what this looks like, but just for the very boring, bland people or the people that are obsessed with how Windows looks, but it's up to you guys, whichever you want to do. Um, just a couple websites. One of my favorite websites is uh, Noobs Lab. Um, I'll show you why. It has heaps of software. It's how to do it yourself. How to add the themes on. Um, my favorite, Conky, which is over here. Let's uh, close this up for you. We have Conky over here. This is your Conky. This is already pretty loaded for you. This is what you see, what you'll have when you uh, start your system. So. Um, if you guys ever want to configure that, you go to the Conky Collection right here on Noobs Lab. I'll put that under my link on the YouTube video. Go there. And you will have heaps of different themes to choose for, for the Conky. And it's very simple to do. Um, say something like that. It tells you how to do it. How to set it up. Basically, you would go here. This is Unity Chrome Classic made in other. Um, one other thing, um, I did. Ha you do have Cinnamon um, incorporated with the Zorn system, which is not a standard, so you can log off and go into the Zorn uh, to the Cinnamon side of things, which is very nice for the new users. So, for instance, say I wanted to change the docky here, the Conky around. We'll go here. Just go here, copy, and paste this. Go there. I have modified um, the compass a bit. I tweaked it out a bit. Um, changed it around for what Zorn is, just slightly. I haven't done extreme modification, but it's slightly modified. You go here. It's gonna. This is where I ask you if you want to change everything. You just press yes. Yes. Yes, sometimes when you do this and you put a new conky theme, um, sometimes you would have to log on and off uh, to do it. And uh, basically, and the theme will come out pretty nice. Obviously, this time it worked very good for me, so that's fantastic. Um, so that's another theme on there. If you, if you guys like that theme, but there's heaps of themes there. Uh, just have a look, whatever suits your needs best. Uh, very simple to do. It's all preset, pre done. All you have to do is basically change it to your style, however you like it. But it's tons of tons of software that I left on here themes, um, icon themes. Uh, it's just 
well well pre-packed for you guys um, what else can I show you guys here um, obviously you have your compass effects on this which are very nice everything works very nice on this you got handbrake um, I also preloaded um, you could play DVDs out of the box with this back up your DVDs if you know what I mean you could do your own backups if you like that's not a problem put sound converter plenty of software plenty of video stuff uh, 2.1 uh, gigabytes of uh, is the OS um, probably about close to about 700 more megabytes than what the original uh, Zorn 0664 core is. Um, just my tweak of it. Like I said, you could tweak it however you like it. This is just my way. I just left it so it could be visual, visually look beautiful. Um, thanks for uh, looking at my my videos. If you guys have any questions or how to do anything, how to change this distro around to your liking, uh, just shoot me a shoot me a post on there or an email and I'll get back to you or try to help you guys with anything. Thanks guys.